Hi everybody, I'd like to welcome you to Microbiology. Uh, my name is Professor Autieri, and I look forward to working with you this semester. As we kick off our first week of the course, I want to take a few minutes and walk you through the course platform on Canvas, as well as some of the required policies and procedures for microbiology. As this is an upper level elective course, this course does require a significant amount of out-of-class uh, time work. Uh, since it is an online course, that entails having to set up and execute your labs each week. This lab is a very different lab setting than what you're probably used to if you've taken anatomy and physiology or other lab sciences here at Goodwin U. This particular lab requires the use of living microorganisms, so the setup and time for them to grow does require some incredibly intentional planning to make sure that your experiments are ready to go by the submission deadlines. As you go into the Canvas shell, you're going to notice uh, several, and I'll put it in student view just so you can see uh, what you should be seeing on your end. You'll notice several blue links on the left-hand side of the course page. On the main dashboard or home page, you have the course description from the Goodwin University course catalog, as well as our overall arching course goal uh, for microbiology. On the right hand side, you will notice any of the assignments that are due for that upcoming week, as well as any announcements or other types of information that I send out on a weekly basis. The syllabus tab does not have your syllabus document link to it. This is a new tab that Goodwin has created that provides a summary of the course for you. And you will notice that each week's uh, deadlines and due dates for each assignment is listed. As well as on the right, you have an overall summary of the course rating for the various assignment categories within the class. Under the announcements tab, each week, I will be posting updates to the announcements to keep you in the loop on things that we're working on. Uh, you will also get on a weekly basis a preview checklist. This preview checklist is a tool to help keep you organized with regards to what assignments are due for the lecture as well as what needs to be submitted each week for the lab. So that will be posted at the start of each week either on Saturday uh, going into the week or on Sunday at the start of the week. I also include for you a reading guide that will help guide you as you go through the text and you start looking at some of the uh, various subjects that you'll be learning about as you begin your reading for microbiology this semester. From there, the modules tab is where you'll find the majority of what you'll be working with in the course. The course information has a lot of the background information including my contacts, information about the School of Nursing and Health Professions, as well as your course syllabus, which is linked right here. And we'll open up the syllabus in a moment. And there is also some links to things like Career Services, the Testing Center, and the Hoffman Library. I will also note to you uh, the discussions. Uh, each week there is a discussion prompt. So for week one, uh, your prompt is here. Simply create a reply to the discussion and enter your information as needed. Uh, please be aware that there are deadlines for the two posts that you're required to submit each week. The first post is due by Wednesday at 11.59, and then you should respond to a peer in the class no later than 11.59 p.m. on Friday. I will note that the discussion boards do stay open until Saturday at 11.59, but in order to earn the full credit for that week's discussion, both posts need to be made by the Friday 11.59 deadline. Post quantity, in terms of the length of your posts, should be about 300 words, and that is typically about three paragraphs or so in length. Um, again, it is not a, a specific amount. I am not going to count 300 words, but your posts should reflect some critical thinking and depth into the topic on which you're reporting on. Uh, under the Assignments button, 
you will see a list of the assignments in the course and these will match to the grade tab which is where you can go to actually see uh, your scored assignments in the course the majority of the assignments that you'll have I do provide a rubric for and some written feedback so you should get feedback on each of your assignments uh, especially any of your written assignments I do embed comments right into the uh, Word doc or the PDF whatever format that you submit so I do want to go back to the syllabus and walk through some of the specific course policies. When you open up the syllabus, you will be given at the top my contact information with regards to my email. Office hours will be on Tuesday evenings beginning at 6.30 p.m. However, you can schedule office hours with me by appointment if that time weekly does not work with you. You are not required to attend office hours. This is a, a time through Zoom that I will be available in person to answer questions, assist you on topics, or review any of the assignments feedback that you've received in the course. The textbook is the Talaro textbook, and that is right here. It's the 10th edition. There is no lab book for the course. All of the uh, formal lab materials are linked through the course page, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Uh, you will need some additional materials in the course. For instance, there'll be some various food items, <coughs> excuse me, things like bread and apples, as well as around six cups of soil, which you will need for the week 11 lab. As we scroll down, grading in the course is broken down. It's a weighted grade, so each of the assignment categories carries a different weight to it. There are five exams making up 60% of the course grade. This does include the final exam, uh, which will be given during week 15. You will have exams during weeks 4, 7, 10, 14, and 15. Those are the five exams, all equally weighted. So that makes up 12% per exam. There is a weekly online discussion, which we've just talked about recently. Uh, those discussions in totality equate to 5% of the overall grade. There are two lab practical exams that are administered electronically through Canvas. Each of those is 7.5% for a total of 15. You will also have weekly lab quizzes and lab submissions. The lab submissions are small truncated lab reports that are submitted as PowerPoint slides and will include a summary of the methods that you use with pictures, as well as your results in the form of data tables. Uh, the totality of that category of all those assignments together is 5%. There is one formal post-lab written report that's done as a Word doc uh, that is submitted in week number 11, and that assignment in and of itself is worth 5%. This semester, for the first time, we are introducing a microbe, build your own microbe project. Uh, the overall total project is worth 10%. To make it easier and a little more manageable on planning, we have elements of the project that are due at different times throughout the course. Um, in example, you will have a part of the assignment due in weeks 5, 8, and 12. Uh, will be the three components that comprise the microbe project. As I mentioned to you, as we dig a little further into each element, the uh, discussion boards making up 5%. The initials are due on Wednesdays. The peer response is due by Friday. And please be sure that you are not plagiarizing your posts, meaning do not highlight and copy text from either an online source or a text source, the uh, summaries should be in your own words. Um, all discussions do require a citation. If you submit your discussion board without a citation, you will lose credit. The um, information for, in terms of exams, so let's skip down to exams for a moment. Uh, we mentioned that all of the exams in the course are administered online. Every exam, whether it's a practical or a lecture exam, does require the use of the Respondus browser and webcam. 
you are not authorized to take an exam without the Respondus browser. So please make sure as you come into the course, one of the first assignments where we will have you test the browser is in the syllabus quiz, which you'll take this week. Please make sure that your browser is functional by that point. Um, it, the browser must be active with your camera on for all exams. And again, you must be in the presence of the camera during the exam. No external materials can be present in the locale of your exam as you're completing it. The um, lab questions, lab homework assignments, as we've mentioned to you, are done weekly. And again, it's a difficult course in the fact that the weekly lab assignments do require a degree of setup uh, that's required to get your experiments ready each week. Um, the assessments must be submitted by the Sunday deadline in order to receive full credit. Any of the lecture assignments, including exams and discussion boards, are due on Saturdays by 11.59. Any of the lab items, which include the lab questions, the lab submissions, or your practical exams, are due by Sundays at 11.59. For the first week of the course, I will not hold you to deadlines. As long as your materials are submitted in the first week, uh, you will receive full credit. And that's just to get you used to the deadlines for the course. Some classes have everything due on Sunday. Micro is different. Lecture assignments are due on Saturdays. Lab assignments are due on Sundays. As I mentioned to you, there is a Create a Microbe semester project. The three different elements of the project will be due in weeks 5, 8, and 12. And the project is really a chance for you to have some fun and showcase what you've learned as we go through the class. I do also want to point out, again, uh, there is no curving of grades or extra credit. Please do not email uh, asking to have additional assignments or extra credit to bring your grade up. The department is clear that I am not permitted to give you any assignments for extra credit. Uh, so if you do ask, I will give you that response uh, per department policy. This class requires you to submit all of the work as your own. Please make sure that you are not using somebody else's work. You're not downloading materials from Course Hero and submitting them as your own work. And if you have taken Bio 235 in a prior semester, you are not permitted to submit any recently or previously submitted assignments for this course. The assignments must be redone and resubmitted. Self-plagiarism is actual plagiarism and can receive uh, disciplinary consequences, including a zero on the assignment. Lastly, I will point out to you that uh, at the end of the syllabus, there is a weekly overview that's broken down. It includes any of the lecture assignments as well as the lab assignments for the week, and it gives you the week dates. So for the class which starts this week, uh, you will see the dates located on the syllabus uh, for your review. If you have any special accommodations or documented um, needs for the course, please make sure that you reach out to the Student Disabilities Office uh, to ensure that I have your paperwork for exams or other class assignments. If you have any questions throughout the course, please don't hesitate to email me, sautieri, S-A-U-T-I-E-R-I, at goodwin.edu. I wish you a phenomenal semester and a great learning experience. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me with any comments, suggestions, or questions that you may have. Have a great semester, everyone.